All right, here we go. We're on to your third week now. Couple things. Now that we're on to the third week, we're starting to increase that meat. So increasing those steps. The goal is to get those steps as close as you can get to that 12 to 14,000 steps per day without using any sort of form of cardio. Now, if you have to get on there and use cardio to get there, you may have to now if you have a job where you sit all day long, that's okay, but the goal is to try and get those steps just through NEAT, so non-exercise thermogenesis activity, so that's what we're looking for is just movement. Now, we're also adding volume into your mobility and your strength day, so each day there's gonna be a new exercise. The first one, your very first one that Justin's gonna take you through, bench press, which you guys have seen already. Make sure you watch the video though because every time we show you guys an exercise that you've seen before, we're gonna add cues to it. So second movement Justin's gonna take you through is the pull-up. The third one, he's gonna go over the overhead press. And then the first little curveball that we have for you guys, it's your first superset. It's the barbell curl with the barbell skull crusher. And we're gonna do those back to back. And then at the very end, Justin's gonna do the renegade row with a push-up. We actually moved the renegade row to the very end. Sal will get over, go over all this and why we, uh, we organize it in this fashion. So make sure you hang in all the way to the end of the video. Oh, all right, we're, we're back here in San Jose, California. We are on the week three routine here. We are now back to the bench press with Justin Andrews. The so. foundational exercise for the upper body, pushing uh, muscles of the body, just like you did the last two times. You want a tight grip on the bar, feet flat on the floor, natural arch in your back, shoulders pinned down and back, controlled repetitions. You'll notice that Justin actually went a little bit wider grip this time than last time. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, It's not a bad, it's not right or wrong. That's right. Now, most of you will be more comfortable with a slightly more narrow grip than the one you see in this video, but the tempo you see is the tempo we want you to mimic in your workout. Coming up next, the pull-up. All, All right. right. We are on to your third week. Of pull-ups. That's right. Pull-ups. Uh, remember, constant Consistent tempo, full extension, full contraction. Pull your chest to the bar when you're doing these pull-ups. Now, you can grab a little wider. You can grab a little bit more narrow. We recommend for the average person a grip that is right outside the shoulders. So in this particular video, Justin is actually demonstrating a wider grip pull-up, a little bit more challenging. Luckily, he's super strong. That's right. doesn't mean it's right or wrong. There's different variations of this. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with you going a little bit wider. You can even do a supinated grip if that's more comfortable for you. The big keys are taking this through full range of motion. Do not stop short. Let yourself come all the way down and pull that chest all the way up to the bar. Adam, I couldn't have said it better myself. Next up, overhead press. All right, we are now on to the overhead press again. You guys have seen this movement now two times already. Remember, full range of motion all the way down to the upper chest near the collarbone area. Press up, bring the head through, coming through the window, full extension, tight core and tight glutes. You don't want to feel this in your lower back. Right, obviously we can't see it because Justin has his clothes on right now, but he's squeezing his glutes and his abs every time before he presses up over his head. So he squeezes the glutes then tightens the abs, and then press so that support that spine real good. And then also pause at the top for a little bit. Pause at the top, get a little bit of stabilization, and then come back down. That's right. Remember, your elbows stay underneath your hands, even at the bottom. You don't want them to flare out and be outside of the hands. That's a recipe for shoulder disaster. We want healthy shoulders, not unhealthy shoulders. Again, the tempo you're watching Justin do right now in this video is the tempo you should be copying in your workout. What's up next, Sal? Next up is a new exercise. Everybody get excited. We're doing barbell curls supersetted with skull crushers. All right, so we're into our new exercises for the week. This is a superset. We're going to start with the first exercise of the superset. This is a fantastic movement right This here. is a basic barbell curl, probably the king of bicep mass builders that are isolation in nature. Now, Justin is taking in... Outside the shoulder grip, most of you will be comfortable with this type of grip, maybe even a little closer together. You want to go through full extension, full contraction. In other words, let the arms come all the way down and then come all the way up and squeeze the bicep the entire time. Now you'll notice his tempo is controlled and he's not swinging his body. Everything is tight and controlled. A lot of people swing their body at him when right. they do this. I tell clients all the time to actually pretend like you have a pen that's going through one elbow, through your stomach, and out the other elbow. Do not let the elbows move from by your side. That's the most common thing I see is the swinging of the elbows. That's right. So after you do this exercise, you're not going to rest. You're actually going to go immediately into the next exercise, which is a skull crusher. So it's a superset. 
Think of it all as one giant set. Barbell curls straight to skull crushers. All right, so now we're in the skull crusher. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a shoulder width or slightly wider than shoulder width grip on the bar. Nice stable position on the bench. Elbows, uh, or excuse me, arms totally straight. Now you want to lock the bottom part of your elbow or bottom part of your arm in position. You're just bending at the elbow, bringing the barbell down either to your forehead or right behind your head. Notice you want to keep the, the arm perpendicular to the floor so just don't come all the way down. Another common mistake, just like the barbell curls, the skull crushers too, people tend to swing their elbows. You want to keep those elbows in a stationary position. Notice even though Justin's lowering the weight all the way down to his head and then extending all the way up, the elbows stay in a stationary position the entire time. They now, work just like a hinge, that's all. Yep, you're just bending at the elbows, extending uh, or uh, stretching the tricep and then extending the tricep uh, all the way up at the top. Now, you want to do these with good control. You don't want to find out the hard way why they call these skull crushers. And remember, this is a superset, so you will have done these, this particular exercise immediately after completing your barbell curls. Then you can rest and then repeat the entire superset, and that's considered another set. Next up is the Renegade Row with push-ups. All right, this is your third time, or actually second time. The first time we introduced this exercise was last week. We are now doing the Renegade Row with push-ups again. Now why we put do they this, call, Why do they call this the Renegade Row, I, have, I think because you have to be a renegade to do it. Uh, Justin, so Justin is the renegade out of the three of us. Absolutely. So we did this. Uh, we put this at the end of the workout because it's more of a functional movement. You want to do those traditional strength exercises first and then introduce this. Now, you row with both arms, put the arms back down on the floor, and then do your push-up just like you see in the video the body shouldn't rotate with this. This is an anti-rotation exercise. In other words, you're not rotating and twisting your body. You're trying to stay square while you do the row and then when you do the push-up. Maintain a tight core. That's extremely important it's with this great, exercise. It's a great, great core exercise, but keep in mind, too, you just did your triceps and biceps. This is going to be a bit more challenging today, so that's normal. Absolutely. All right, so the volume is starting to ramp up. Today was a strength day. You did a lot of the exercises you did before. You did your foundational bench presses, your pull-ups, your overhead presses. But then we threw in a new exercise, or two new exercises in a superset, the barbell curls and skull crushes. Now, the reason why we like to superset those exercises is because there's a good idea sometimes to superset antagonistic muscle groups. So bicep and tricep, you're working both sides of the arm. It feels great to have a pump there, but it also connects you better when you do the second set. So if I work my triceps and then I go hit the biceps again, I'm gonna have better connection to when I hit my biceps. Now you'll notice that we injected it before the last exercise of last week, which was the Renegade Row with push-ups. The Renegade Row with push-ups is more of a functional type of movement. It's more of an integration type movement. We wanna do that at the end because if you did that first before you did your isolation exercises, might not be as wise. We wanted you to get the muscle building effects of these, then move to the functional integrative uh, movement at the very end. Now tomorrow is mobility and we've added another exercise. So stay tuned. Look, share this video with your friends, get them involved. It's fun to work out together. Also subscribe to this channel because we post new videos all the time.